All right, guys. Friday, March 5th. Um, we've got push jerks to start. And we'll take these off the rack. Okay, push jerks to start off the rack. Um, 5 dash 5 dash 3 dash 3. Okay, so these are these are pretty big sets in on a Friday depending on how many days you come this week uh, you might be a little bit banged up so think about it maybe more as I might decrease the load a little bit all right and maybe focus on rebounding these reps okay if you've maybe had a couple days off and you're really feeling good and you want to go as heavy as possible and maybe it's uh, a heavy pusher bring it back down reset go again also fine okay just as always, listen to the body. The you know our upper bodies can take a beating sometimes during the week. Um, just be smart about it. Okay, on the push jerk. Okay, it we're not we're not pressing anymore. So the strict press, we've got the isolated press off the shoulder. The push press, you've got a dip and drive, which more or less turns into an assisted strict press if done properly. Okay, then the push jerk. Think about, uh, I like to use the term, heaving it off your shoulder, okay? So like a front squat, you want to isolate your torso, meaning you want it to dip straight up or straight down and come right back up, okay? Now, if we can control the, if we can control the body in the bar and keep it on a constant bar path, okay, then we'll experience that heaving motion, all right? So we want to dip with the legs so the knees go out. All right, torso stays upright. And when we go to heave, we've got to tuck the chin and kind of drive the bar off our shoulders with our legs. Get it moving, push against it, and then drive ourselves back under the bar. So that's why I mentioned the jerk is no longer a press, okay? We're heaving it off the shoulder and we're rapidly punching underneath the bar and catching it with our legs and arms extended okay so if you find yourself catching with a semi locked out elbow and then as you're standing up or as you've gotten under the bar having to do this okay it's not maybe not necessarily a issue of weight it might just be speed okay so not only do we have to be powerful with that heave but we got to be quick under the bar all right to be able to punch it and catch so again it's two sets of five two sets of three we're going to build on each one of those then we got four rounds for time, 15 and 12 calories on the rower, followed by a plus three toes during sequence beginning at 15 and then a 200 meter sprint. Okay. So we're always going to row 15 and 12 calories and each round is always going to end with a 200 meter sprint. The toes during in the middle is going to start at 15 reps in round one. In round two, you're going to do 18. In round three, you're going to do 21. And in round four, you're going to do 24. So if it doesn't make sense on, on, as I'm saying it in this video, take a peek on paper. But anyways, row calories, adding toes during, 200 meter sprint, four rounds for time, bang.